पोस्ट आई थी कि चिपकी फ्राई हुई हुई बर्गर अच्छा आई आई डोंट रिमेंबर बट देन दे सेड कि किसी ने प्लांट किए ये सब आई मीन आई हाउ कैन यू मिस अ होल चिपकली इन द बिकॉज़ लाइक द बेकर वाज लुकिंग अब वो ऊपर से गिर गई और उसने करके बना या तो कोई छोटी सी चीज होती मस्ट बी बिट मोर बिलीवेबल लाइक अ होल चिपकली आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स द व्हाट्स द चिपकली All right guys welcome back to Lights Out podcast uh this feels a little different because we just had a 2 hour conversation and we realized we didn't even click on the record button <laughs> so we're redoing the whole podcast and I'm not even kidding this is the first time it's happened uh while I was setting it up everybody was, I was telling them that nothing bad has ever happened on this podcast so far but today was the first day so um we have a, a guest a special guest here from Pakistan but also uh, a guest host and uh, we uh, try to replace uh, the legendary co-host that i had on this podcast his name is hasnan you can follow him hasnan hasnan too as i always say but we have today talha said i i can't replace hasnan i have to say i'm a big fan <laughs> a big of choose to fill. he's my favorite person <laughs> person in your last podcast and let's face it the only reason i'm here is cuz i have a visa and he doesn't yeah so uh, unfortunately hasnan ka visa nahi laga aur uh, mazak kar raha hu usne apply nahi kiya lekin we had to find somebody um, so we have mr tala filling his shoes today and uh, we have the um, honor of having roha who we uh, have paid I, i did this joke earlier so i don't know <laughs> if this is going to hit but uh, the joke was ki i have paid for her ticket and visa to come to our podcast which is partially true uh, and she will tell us more about it hi roha hi how's it going this, this was really good for someone who's camera shy the 2 hour yeah before <laughs> no, i actually did it on purpose <laughs> yeah i was like aap log pehli dafa kar rahe ho to yeah. thoda relax ho jao that's a lot of cameras <laughs> I, i can't yeah. believe i told my deepest darkest secrets in the last hour <laughs> to be honest i'm so well, glad we, we, we don't have the the audio of, uh, the high quality audio <laughs> of it but we still have audio of it by the way oh. that's my concern <laughs> that's my main concern to be honest we take it? everything back exactly <laughs> taking it yeah. all back take it all back <laughs> <laughs> anyway welcome to lights out uh we are here in toronto today <clears throat> so uh how when did you get here uh last month uh, around 10 days ago yeah. 10 days ago and yeah. uh, how is it been so far it's been good it's been really different i mean everything's very really different yeah from pakistan so like how new experience uh there are there are some cultural shocks like what uh like the bathrooms <laughs> bathroom <laughs> yeah tell like us more the, about that the you know the muslim shower situation oh yeah yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah how That's do people shock. Why? It's like a first world country but third world country bathroom yeah. like it's it's a, it's a sore point we don't like Why? to talk about it very much good. but there we uh, go uh well there's always like a bottle or lota or something um yeah so this is the only third world thing here like you yeah. have to use a lota yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's like the one problem that we have which is the biggest problem yeah. you can install effect, it yeah you can install your own like yeah. i have done that in my house but you have to own the house uh If it is then I take that <laughs> no, back you, you have to <laughs> immediately from what I just said I think you have uh, to own the house okay. but you can probably you probably can't do it in a rental I can neither confirm nor deny that I have <laughs> Muslim shower be days in my house I guess but yeah But yeah some advanced countries do have a Muslim shower it's called bide Okay like so- South Korea or Japan but so a, a very advanced version of a Muslim shower Yeah okay So we don't need one uh, <laughs> but that one is clearly an advanced Your brother has something like that right My brother lives in New York and he has some impressive contraption that <laughs> literally <laughs> greets you when you open the door and yeah. it knows your name it knows everything about you yeah. kind of scary actually yeah, so okay. yeah I chose to go downstairs to the gas station bathroom <laughs> instead of uh, giving that toilet any further information <laughs> yeah. about myself I wasn't comfortable yeah, yeah no th- so I went to um Seoul Korea this was like maybe 6 7 years ago mm-hmm. and it was such a cool experience but the coolest thing ever Well, it was the the bathrooms in the hotel because okay. it had this system the b- bidet system yeah. or whatever it's called and um the when once you enter the bathroom the seat automatically opens up there's like heating in it and i don't know like various kinds of like showers in it and stuff like that so yeah. pretty crazy it can get confusing at times because yeah. the other day we were at a mall and i thought the hand wash was automatic yeah, yeah. and i was just standing there for like a right. good 5 minutes i was like It was oh, there's a button there. Yeah. 
So at least there's hand soap in Pakistani washrooms. Is you don't even find. Soap. Yeah, I mean the malls are fine. But malls are good. Yeah, yeah. malls are fine. Uh, but have you ever stopped at one of those uh, motorway washrooms? Did there were 50 rupees to give? Both are both are good. Both are good. Both are good. Yeah, those are really nice, actually. Um, I'm always impressed uh, by the motorway ones. You've never been there. I'm, I'm, I don't know these. I haven't had the privilege of checking so these washrooms it's, out. Yeah. So it's what like one fourth of a dollar. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, it just yeah. you just you just use a private bathroom that's there. Uh, very nice. Are you guys making game. fun of me? Like, are they actually nice or are they not? No, nice? no, no, they're, they're actually, actually, oh, they're really actually yeah. nice. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. For fifty rupees only. I was getting worried. So that's <laughs> okay, good. no, no. Because <laughs> I've I've seen some motorway washrooms in in uh, in Pakistan that that weren't as nice. Yeah. But uh, these must be a new thing. I'm impressed. So Rohar, tell us more about yourself. Uh, you started off your Instagram. In 2020, I believe. Yeah, 2020 it was in October. Right. It was peak Corona, I believe. Right. And there was a really depressing situation at home with my mother. She got. Oh no! What happened? Yeah, she got diagnosed with cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. That. How's she doing now? She's she's great great now. Yeah. Right. And Is she um, here in Canada? Yeah, she's here with us. Oh, nice. So okay. It's like a family trip. So. Okay. Everyone's here. Yeah. How big is your family? Uh, it's not that big actually. I have two mamus and. Akala, that's it. Right, yeah. and you're starting to become a dentist. Yeah. I believe. How's that going? Uh, I mean, I'm done with all four years, so mm. I have my health job left. Right. So let's see. Mm. Mm. Uh, and is this uh, like, did you choose to be a dentist, or was it forced on you by your family? I mean, I did choose to be a dentist, but I wanted to go to a different university. So, right. Yeah. Which one did you want to go to? I wanted to go to CMH Lahore, and mm-hmm. I did get in, but my parents weren't comfortable with the whole hostel situation. It's like when I look at your Instagram, yeah, I obviously get these vibes of like somebody who's like ultra wealthy, who's no. like trying new food, I new mean, clothes. I mean, new food, yes, but yeah. new clothes, no. <laughs> really? No. I no. thought like so. In some of your posts, you're like, aren't you posing with like four or five outfits? Yeah, a lot it of. It seems like you're wearing four or five outfits a day. Okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this is dangerous territory again. I thought we'd address this in the last hour, but no, here we go again. <laughs> I do like uh, collecting bags and shoes, right. but not clothes. What's not the most expensive bag that you have? Uh, do you have a Chanel? No. Do you have a Birkin? No. Do you have a what's the other one? Hermes or whatever? No, I'm just Birkin impressed that Bilal has <laughs> such intricate knowledge of high end. I've been fashion. buying them for. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Again, this for is my they, family members. I always get the knockoffs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. What can I say? <laughs> uh, no, so like, um, would you? Would you like? Uh, is this your first trip outside Pakistan? Yeah. This is. It, you went to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, then. we've been to. You Saudi told us in the last. Yeah, hour we that told we didn't us in record. the last two hours. <laughs> 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 that was that was a really fun trip. We right. went for Umrah and then we went to our Khala's place. She lives there as well. Where? Uh, she lives in the Mom and oh, inside right. a Kent. Right, right. Yeah, so I've been to nice. the Mom. Yeah, it's a nice place. and Jeddah is really cool as well. Yeah. So and plus, you know, the pros of Saudi, everything is halal there. Yeah. And uh, that's the one problem. Did you like Al Bake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> an old big fan yes uh have you tried any of the food spots here in canada or toronto yeah we have we so i've been to the food places my cousins have took me and mm-hmm. they're so they took me to osmos mm. they took me to uh where else did they take me yeah they took me to halal pita <laughs> mcdonald's I think, no way I, I, I think her cousins are pulling some some wool over high this is the best f- uh, food we have get is osmo shawarma look the raptors are advertising for it how can it not be that great we, we didn't try the shawarma we tried something else what you went and ate fries at osmo what yeah that's it and Just the, rice? and the rice thing rice and fries yeah no meat yeah with chicken Oh, oh, so you had the plate. Yeah. Not the shawarma. So I never order. I don't know. They just go and get stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, there's so many better places. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get your cousins in trouble. That's the best we have. Oh my god! You've okay. tried the best. That's it. That's yeah. it. Nothing else left. Uh, we go to Tim Hortons a lot. But Tim Hortons a lot. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Like the first time I came to Canada, yeah, I was obsessed with Timbits. 
Uh, this organizer friend of mine, who's now become my friend, mm. every time I get off the airport, I came here for a few shows, so he'd have the Timbits ready, because he knew I love Timbits and double double steep tea. Okay. Have you tried that? No. <coughs> It's like a desi person's order, double double steep tea. Okay. If you go in and say I want a double double steep tea, even if you're fully covered, the other person will know that you're a desi, because okay. only desi people order double double steep tea. Yeah, okay. it's just like a clue. I'm gonna do it's that. <laughs> <laughs> I I've always like I said said in the last hour like uh I, tea drinkers always fascinate me. You all have such specific ways that you like your your chai. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Me being a coffee drinker, it doesn't. It all tastes pretty much the same. I can tell when it's a very good cup of coffee. Yeah. But almost all coffee is just average coffee that gets the job done. So I'm always fascinated by your obsessions with how chai is made and how it tastes. Yeah, it's very very hard to find a good chai place here in Canada. Mm. Though, like, we tried one chai place together. It was like a Kashmiri chai place mm. here in downtown. Yeah. So on Gerard Street, right? Uh, I remember that. Uh, yeah. That was pretty good. It was pretty good. And I'm not a fan of Kashmiri chai, though, in general. It's probably maybe controversial to say that, but I, I'm not a big fan. I think you cancelled already. The good one. Maybe that's the reason why. Guys, cancel him. Yeah, <laughs> immediately cancelled right now. That's it. I think you haven't tried the good authentic one because it takes a really long time to make. That that might be the yeah. reason why. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite style of chai? I think uh, masala chai. Yeah. Masala chai. Yeah, when I'm really hungry and I want something. They, do they just add like masala to it? The chai. Oh, I I mean I make it myself. How? Give us the recipe. Okay, so I I add elaichi cardamom. Oh wait, that's the same thing. Elaichi cardamom. Yeah. My that's English the same is thing. not that good. Oh. Yeah, that's the same thing. Wait, so it's cardamom, cinnamon. Um, then there's this other. What's thing. the masala? So you make it like that's kind of how you make it yourself. Okay. But if you get it in packets, it's all grinded. No, you but know? like, is there nothing spicy about it? Some people the do. The cinnamon it adds, adds the spice. Yeah, in. the cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you just. Put it in microwave. <laughs> no, <laughs> so um. Apparently, like British people get offended if you say, "Can I make you tea by microwaving the water?" Um, again, I'm not a big chai tea <laughs> person, so it's no. tough. I'm I'm yeah. not in this world. I wish right. I was, but I'm not. Would you like drink a microwave wali chai? If it's good, yeah, because. But it's never good microwave. I mean, no, sometimes it is really good. If it's already pre-made and then you just warm it up. But if you wa- like boiling the water using microwave, yeah, doesn't have the same thing. Really, because I've tried really? some and yeah, it was really good. With a tea bag? No, it was like proper masala. Yeah, no, it was tea bag and milk. Okay. And milk and yeah. Right. So you heat the milk as well <coughs> in the microwave. अच्छा तो जब आप यहाँ पे आए तो आपको jet lag नहीं हुआ? Jet lag नहीं. क्यों? Because in Pakistan, we both late. So late, so then. Yeah. Oh, so I kind of fixed my sleep cycle. By the way, आपकी शादी भी हुई? No, I'm engaged. You're engaged. Yeah. When did you get engaged? Uh, last year in December. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and you have two really viral videos, right? The yeah. one is in Kashmir. Yeah. Uh, that's fairly recent. Yeah. And then there is one cats video. Yeah. The, um, yeah. I explained in very good <laughs> terms in the podcast that never got recorded. <laughs> But you might get the uh, low res version of that. Let's hope not. <laughs> <If> <laughs> Let's hope you never see that. <laughs> uh, but tell us more about like the whole the cat video. Are th- are those your cats? Yeah, they were our kittens. We have Kitten. two cats. We have okay. two white cats. Right. And they had six kittens. Right. Um. And so I made the video. Two of them are brown. Oh. Okay. So I made the. I What's their name? S- yeah, one's Dingo and one's Ivy. Dingo and Ivy. Ivy? Yeah. Cool. So I named Dingu, Dingu. Right. Yeah. But weren't there three kittens in that video? Oh no, those we gave all those kittens oh, away. Oh, you gave all those away. Yeah. Right. Oh. So we just have the parents now. Oh, so you got the video and you gave them away. Yeah. That was it. That was their purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> I mean, if you if you make a kitten video on the internet, I think that's yeah. a pretty guaranteed way of getting some yeah, some followers. Yeah, everyone lo- everyone loves kittens. Everyone so you did loves. it intentionally? No. Like I didn't. I didn't think it would. Like get it's that wrong way. to use children in your videos, like a child labor thing. That's true. So it's wrong to use kittens because they're yeah. also like technically animal children. We're getting so deep here. So you used them mm-hmm. for your own clout or whatever. We're getting deep here on life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I'm they mind. To tease you I don't think this. they mind. I think they like it to be honest. I actually had to though. limit a lot of comments under really? the yeah, because some people were saying weird stuff. Like what? Uh, okay. We we'll just play the video here. Okay. Uh, but don't do the oh, क्या कहते हैं strike ना हमें दिलवा देना. Okay. YouTube. Don't claim कि नहीं ये मेरा वीडियो उन्होंने यूज किया हुआ. Oh okay. I uh, won't yeah. do that. YouTube वाले हमारा चैनल ही उड़ा दें because yeah. we shared your video. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. We'll try and put it here somewhere. Okay. Somewhere here. <laughs> I'll tell the editor to do it. Yeah. Um, but it's a really cute video. It's yeah. it's it's gotten like what two three million views. Uh, sixty nine million. Sixty. Wow. Damn. Yeah, yeah, two three million likes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sixty nine million. Yeah. That's a crazy viral yeah. video. Yeah. You need to get the lights out, cat. And just yeah. have it walking around. We should put like kittens here. here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good idea. But they yeah. grow up so fast. They do. They get. In two episodes, ke baad wo billi puri ban gayi. When you give it away, you get another kitten that looks exactly the same. You have like the whole. That's just a factory. Just keep yeah. having kittens. Yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> oh, we'll just put put the, put it there like a hologram or AI. Use AI to just put put yeah, in just kittens. Pop it right there on the table. Yeah. Just, anyway, so you were telling us about the video. So, um, 69 million views. You expected it to go viral? Not that viral, no. Because I actually did see someone create that. So they put in a white kitten, then they put in a brown kitten, and then it was black. Ah. And it was an Arabic video. So right. I and so I recreated that with a tea bag. Right. And just brown kittens, right? Right. Um, but I think that video was objectively enjoyable mm-hmm. to watch, because a lot of my cousins were studying abroad. They're foreign classes are watching it like in Malaysia England yeah. people they don't know no if you've gotten 69 million views yeah. there's no way that yeah. it went viral only in I Pakistan I actually checked if you know any celebrities liked it or not but no yeah I didn't like it <laughs> 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 just kidding that point uh and then there's like another video that's uh, recent the Kashmir gone. video yeah I so, turned okay, off okay so tell us like oh, how did you go to Kashmir like was this is there some like okay like groups bhi hote hain na jo leke jate hain hum kashmir mein to aap unke sath gayi thi yeah ke? we went with them kaun se the up free up, promotion hi karte chale aap apna tour <laughs> apna tour <laughs> yeah Achha. it was a really good trip definitely aur ye sort of hamara grad trip tha hmm? it was sort of like a grad aap log ghumte phirte hi rehte ho kabhi canada kabhi kashmir kabhi saudi arabia um phir aap keh rahe ho aap i mean the kashmir trip was with my cuz my friends oh okay yeah it wasn't a family trip no it was right. with my friends yeah So and we which places did you go to? We went to Arunkel basically. Oh man, I've heard so many good yeah, things about. Yeah, we lived it. there. So uh we stayed there a night as well. Which hotel? The the tour guide. Tents wagera mein rehte hain ki kya hota hai? Nahi proper huts the wahan like. Acha. Yeah, wooden hut. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen photos of Arunkel. Yeah. It's really nice. So, I guess that's why the real stuck off because generally. No, but like literally every person in Pakistan who goes to the north. Mm. ends up making a reel obviously yeah. with like some nice music yeah why did yours go viral what was so special about that i think a lot of my followers know i'm kashmiri as well oh you're a kashmiri yeah so okay. a lot of people from the indian, indian side or pakistani side both actually no are you from the indian oh india? uh, so i th- i think kind of both because right on the what's it called so my dad uh, both my dad's parents were kashmiri and one of them was from the srinagar yeah Okay. My my grandmother was born there. Right. So kind of mixed, I would right. say. So you're Indian. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is new material. This is <laughs> not in the last hour. This is. Yeah, I, we didn't do this before. <laughs> I I feel like I'm on shaky ground right now. I don't dare say anything. Actually, at all. a lot of Indians and Pakistanis started to fight in the comments right. under that video, and I just uh, removed the. I just have a fight. Disabled the comments. Yeah. yeah. They were fighting over Kashmir. Wait, so you were also telling us something about the kitten video? Because can you just which comments are there? What were those comments? Yeah, they were saying bad things to me. <laughs> to <laughs> you? Yeah, they were like you're promoting harassment of kittens and. How are you harassing them? I don't know, and actually, uh, TikTok removed it a couple of times, and then uh, saying it's against yeah some policy. regulations, and then I attested or whatever you, and they put it back. They were like, "Oh, we're sorry. We didn't mean to remove it." But they kind of shadow banned me on TikTok after that. Really? Yeah, they're very touchy about the whole. Hmm. 
That's crazy. There's something about when you get that much attention on anything, yeah. you're going to get some people who have a problem with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It could be something as innocuous as, I don't know, glass of water. But if I enough people look at it, some people have a problem with that glass of water. Mm. Right. It's interesting. But I'm curious to know, so you got 69 million views on one video. Mm. Did you did you see a huge spike in your followers or was it just like normal? Oh, uh, no, not at all, actually. You didn't get any followers? Maybe like 2,000, 3,000 maybe. So then what's the point of getting viral if you do not get vi- followers? How else do you get followers? I think it was never about the followers for me. To no, I know. With. But yeah. like I'm saying like if mm. people think that in order to get lots of followers, you need a viral video. Yeah. I mean, what more viral video can you make <laughs> than like a video that's gotten 70 million views? Yeah. I think and you still do not get followers then what do you do I guess like for example every video you see on TikTok uh, on Instagram you don't necessarily follow yeah whoever makes that video right, right? So, so what does it take for somebody to follow you A couple of viral videos I feel like You've had couple now <laughs> I guess so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah uh, are there any other ones that you that have gone viral Uh there was another one yeah I mean if if 1 million is your definition right. of yeah so okay. there was one or two more yeah right yeah so jab aapko chaska laga fame ka hmm. to phir aapne direction badli apni ke aapne aur content dalna shuru kar diya ki uh, ab aapko hit mil gaya hmm. uh, kashmir wala kashmir, content uh. i mean it was pre planned actually funny thing maine sirf teen reels banayi thi hmm. and i posted them and then i i was like that's it that's all for kashmir then i made this last video for some reason i don't know why i made it which got viral actually right yeah and i posted that uske baad i posted another one and then another that didn't one. go viral i mean they did pretty well as well actually yeah. so i think people really like Kashmir what were content. the people why were people enjoying it so much like what were the people saying ki kya is uh, i think it's because a lot of them want to visit right yeah and that's people were mostly tagging their friends in the comments oh let's mm-hmm. go here let's do that right. it was a relatable video for a lot of people right so i feel like relatable content generally does really well yeah, yeah. Uh we also notice that a lot of people are trying to copy you mm. and you actually use your content mm. to uh, and say that that's their own content. Yeah. So for people like them and me inclusive, uh, what tips would you give us for how to make our feeds more aesthetic and like what's your secret sauce of how to go um, about Um so generally I've noticed people use filters a lot. Like Snapchat filters? like brightening filters or yeah i noticed that with talha too every time he sends yeah. me some photo it's, it's like true. full of filters i have to yeah. edit it i have to make myself look good i don't know where he's going to post this photo so i just See, like th- i feel like the brightening filters make you look bad make you look bad yeah cuz it ruins the whole it's not authentic it's um a lot of people use that yellowish bright filter nahi wo phone mein hota na wo jo yellow the phone ka it, it's a snapchat i feel like samsung ke andar kuch inbuilt filter hai wo aapki skin orange hi kar yeah wo karta hai it's like a beauty beauty Haan. filter thing yeah iphone wala thoda natural hota yeah. hai yeah i could so, be wrong no you're right actually yeah. yeah um a lot of people don't like that about android phones that that's actually why i switched to iphone acha yeah for the camera that's it cuz samsung's are supposed to have the best cameras but then it just has a little orangey tinge to yeah. it the did skin you, did you hear about the the trick that samsung was doing when you know, people were taking photos of the moon oh uh, no what so, what so in the advertising you can see the samsung phones is zooming on the moon and you can see in super clarity yeah, yeah. Mm. it ends up that that was actually like a, a built ca- software inside the camera so whenever oh. you zoom on the moon so much they would show you like an artificially detailed picture of the moon yeah yeah if you look at it up oh. it's crazy Man. <laughs> but yeah yeah But I I try not to have my face anywhere online. You're you forced me into this into this uh, Yeah, podcast. we talked about that. Uh like the history of how we got the how on this podcast. <laughs> exactly. So I yeah. I I don't apply too many filters because I have zero online presence. Right. But um you convinced me to show up on camera which is a step. Okay, so uh, for our viewers, why don't you what's like I find it really cool that you're not on Instagram mm-hmm. apart from like your stalking <coughs> account. Yeah, just my uh, stalking and trolling account. But wha- why why aren't you um like why aren't you excited or attracted to fame or the idea of putting your stuff online um i i to be honest the truth probably is i'm from a different generation that's that's the reality i can give you a reason why i don't do it cuz i don't like attention or um but i think the truth is that i just never grew up with this idea that you have to have an online presence i grew mm-hmm. up in a time when generally speaking you don't really 
tell the internet who you are or where you live or what you do. Right. So I find it fascinating to watch people now who are um, kind of giving away so much details online and, and putting themselves out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong. You people grow businesses that have photography businesses. And I feel like you can't be a creative person these days without an online presence. Um, but it's never from that generation, I guess. That's well, which is kind of like what we were talking about earlier. Uh, you started putting your face pretty recently. Yeah. You never used to show your face. Yeah. Uh, explain to our listeners why. <laughs> well, um, it, I still don't do it as often because uh, people... Here, 4K, you yeah. up the camera. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been pushing myself to do, you know, right. what, things what out of my comfort change? zone. No, so like what prevented it in the first place? Like why why were you not comfortable? So um, at first... Like so wha- what I'm trying to understand, sorry, yeah. I'll, I'll reframe the question. Okay. So if you do not want to show your face, yeah. you do not make your pub- account public, mm-hmm. right? But if you're making your account public, one tends to think that you're okay with the idea of sharing who you are because people want to see like yeah. who this person is. Yeah. Uh, so what was the hindrance? I think people find the content more relatable when there's no face attached to it. Really? Yeah. I would think like it's the other way around. No? I, I mean, think it's the other way around as well. Really? really? It's interesting. Yeah. I do, I think it, it has worked for me. So if I showed no face and I sat here and did all this talk, Depends you think on, I'd do better? No, no. So that's different because you're doing a podcast and everything. But if you're making reels yeah. and in order for them to be more relatable, it's better to not have any identity attached to it i that's what i feel mm. like because all the reels that did really well had didn't have me in them then no what what them. triggered you to change that approach i mean i didn't so see when i started it was in corona right people used to wear masks all the time ah, right, right. so my content was all food then right. people really liked the whole lifestyle thing so mm-hmm. i dabbled into that and then there came a point where it was awkward to wear masks like it doesn't look good right so I was like, people recognize me anyways because yeah. I think because of the eyes or something. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So if if there's a situation where I want to show an outfit mm-hmm. and it requires me to show my face, I'm like, okay with it. Achha. Yeah, so it's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, so you... when Were you still studying when you uh, got like internet famous? Yeah. And were pe- people recognizing you? Yeah, a lot of my juniors. And, and what would they say? Did you get hate comments? Hate comments are very low. Do you not say that why you don't show the face? The Pakistanis are big. No, they are those. I don't think they're hate comments. They're generally like, oh, yeah, some of them were kind of hateful actually. What do they say? They were, I mean, like, oh, are you ugly? That's why. What? Yeah. <laughs> you don't show your face because you, well, I think they were just trying to they were trying to like think of yeah. why and then they were like this okay this is my biggest fear this is why I never <laughs> show my face so if any of you comment <laughs> on this video uh, I'm telling you that's it this is my final appearance on the internet um, yeah please no, don't that's, that's not very nice for people to do yeah. so but, but it's, it's not a lot of them very few because right. my I think again my content is very friendly but now do you feel like you have fans um, or do you just have followers I just think I have people who follow my account and like my you know content what do you what do you it. think people like about your content it's, again i think it's just friendly and relatable and different that's it's something. definitely different from the other yeah um content creators i put a lot of effort into the angles and Clearly, the lighting yeah so i guess that people really appreciate that so you spend a lot of time like making these yeah it does take a lot of time um and do you ever get like advice from other people like پاکستان میں تو بڑا ایڈوائس بھی دینا شروع ہو جائے جیسے کوئی چیز چلنا شروع ہو جائے بیٹا آپ ایسے نہیں ایسے کیا کرو آپ میں آپ کو بتاتا ہوں کہ ایسے ہوگا ایون دونوں نے کبھی کبھی خود پوسٹ نہیں کی ہوگی دیٹس ٹرو ایکچولی بٹ سم آف دم آر ایکچولی ریئلی گڈ ایڈوائس لائک واٹ لائک کچھ اسپاٹس کوئی اچھے بتا دیتا ہے یہ لوکیشنز اچھی ہیں یہ ایسے ہے باقی لو ایکسپوجر کر کے اچھی آتی تصویر یا لو ایکسپوجر آج کل لو ایکسپوجر چل رہا ہے Low exposure uh, depends on, I think if it's like a sunset sort of situation, yes, low exposure would be good. So have you never put out uh, a picture that you've edited or filtered out? Fil- um, okay, so I do re- reduce the brightness and the highlights yeah. at most. That's it. Or no filter? No. But if everyone's skin is not clear, that's why they put a filter. Yeah, a lot of my friends actually hate me for that. 
Interestingly, after a nose job, your nose is bigger for about two years. Like it's swollen. What? Yeah. For like no a good two years, it's swollen. Really? So it's not, it's actually... For two years? Yeah. No way. Yeah, you it's get like it. It's like a few job. weeks. No? Browsing, bruising, yeah, browsing. No, no, no. You sound like you've had a consultation. When I, when I did it, I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. Two days? Two days? Yeah. <laughs> have you chosen a specialization like orthodontry or jobi hote hain nahi abhi tak nahi actually i'm going to do my house job and then i'll decide because you get to deal with the patients very hands on in the house house job, job like government hospital mein hoti hai nahi ab the university mein hi karungi yeah to wo kar sakte hain you can do it in nahi to jin patients pe anadi logon ko lagate hain wo kaun hote hain matlab patients kaun hote hain ya house job wale jo hain wo bhi seekh hi rahe hote hain na karigari yeah तो जो पेशेंट्स आ रहे हैं yeah. वो कौन से पेशेंट्स होते हैं जिनको वो देते हैं आई मीन मजबूर पेशेंट्स होते हैं मजबूर क्या नहीं आई लाइक द ऑनेस्टी आई लाइक द ऑनेस्टी नो बिकॉज़ आई आई हैव हैड दिस एक्सपीरियंस सो आई वाज इन यूएस एंड मेरे पास हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस थी या नहीं थी शायद क्योंकि hmm. मेरी यूनिवर्सिटी में एक था डेंटिस्ट की जगह okay. बहुत महंगा था वहां पे टूथ एक्सट्रैक्शन या इट्स रियली उन्होंने कहा कि हमारे पास स्टूडेंट है वो आपका निकाल देगा तो आपके 100-200 डॉलर में हो जाएगा काम okay. और मुझे इतनी ज्यादा दर्द थी लाइक आई वाज एक्सट्रीम पेन आई वाज लाइक स्टूडेंट है आप खुद हैं जो भी रिसेप्शन पे कोई बस निकाल दे एंड सो ही हैड लाइक अ सुपरवाइजर दैट केम इन एंड ही हेल्प्ड हिम बट टुक हिम सम टाइम लाइक गलती हो गई आई मीन वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस यू नो एंड वी आर सुपरवाइज्ड बट वी डू इट फॉर फ्री Acha so like when you're working on the patients that's all covered for free Yeah the patients don't pay for anything in our Oh so no wonder like so acha so if you do not want to pay you just go there Yeah so it's very minimal like maybe maybe 400 for root canal 400 Really Yeah so that's so 400 is like 2 dollars Yeah it sounds like I need to go to Pakistan for <laughs> dentist you work to be honest <laughs> Yeah wow. a lot of my relatives actually get their dental treatments from Pakistan because it's really good and also less yeah, costly Yeah Yeah, yeah. So oh, it's really expensive here. Yeah, really expensive here. Mm. Yeah. And it's a lo- long wait as well, I guess. Yeah. Wait list is not that long, but yeah, they want a lot of money, which is <laughs> it's, it's a great job though, honestly, like I, you know, we discussed it before, but if I was giving some advice with choosing between medicine, dentistry or pharmacy, like choose dentistry any any day of the week. Not cardiology, right? Not cardiology, not neurosurgery, <laughs> dentistry is what you want. It's a her brother training. is becoming a new neu- neurologist, I guess. Your your her brother's yeah. I mean training. he's studying right now. Studying. But he wants to go. Dua kare ho sakta hai lag jaye to ka aur ban jaye wo. Lag nahi raha jitna wo isme hai aapko wo karne mein aapki jo like it feels like he's the mastermind behind your brand. I mean he's helped my page a lot definitely. Yeah. So and like you guys we had discussed this earlier. Yeah. Uh, you guys had also started a business called Bill Bounce. Yeah, that's how I kind of started my page. It was ah, okay. so the people who follow me from way back know it was just like a baking sort of page. Right. Yeah, we were selling cinnamon rolls, and even Myra Khan ordered them from us. Right. So we got pretty famous. Right. And then so we stopped baking them about eight years ago. I'm not sure the year because he went to because brother goes to Al Khan. Yeah, he went to Karachi. So mm. yeah, he was the, he's the chef. He has the recipe. I don't know the secret recipe. I'm just a marketing. Kya the secret sauce? Kya tha? He said he said lots of sugar. He said lots. Saying my lips are sealed. Uh but you uh, did we discuss it in this podcast where you talked about masala chai? No. It was the the last one, right? Yeah. Uh what's the special ingredient in masala chai? I think the cinnamon. Yeah. And the cardamom. Mhm. They definitely changed the chai. 
for me but i don't add anything too spicy like some people add garam masala and stuff like chaba the aapne phir ye kaha tha ki dessert aapko bahut pasand hai aur maine joke mara tha ki humne aapko na dessert di na chai di that's very true haso haso guys maine joke mara it's so hard to recreate a podcast yeah, and no. record it 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 felt like What? an hour yeah it was only 18 minutes it felt like an hour i got to oh. say tough guess I tough mean, guess we have time <laughs> Um uh, anyway so uh, talking of desserts have you, do you like layers yeah yeah aapko pata hai ki usme cake mein chipkli nikli thi i don't actually believe that i don't know yeah i don't believe that because it has never happened before it hasn't cuz you remember like ek jagah thi johnny and jugnu yeah unki bhi ek do hasta post aayi thi ki chipkli fry hui hui burger ka acha yeah. i don't remember but then they said ki kisi ne plant ki hai ye sab i mean yeah. i how can you miss a whole chipkli in the Cause like the baker was looking up, he fell down and he made it. It's like, yeah, so some small things like that must have been a bit more believable, like a whole yeah. chip killer. I don't know. What's the what's the chip killer? Chip killer is a, a lizard. <laughs> a lizard, but a domesticated lizard. Do you I not see. have them here? No. Oh, we that's have a plus point. Yeah. yeah, we have giant lizards. Oh, okay. I have a pet as well. It oh. might be somewhere okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a cat person. <laughs> Uh no see whenever you go to Pakistan don't you see lizards on the wall Yeah I just I I wasn't aware of that term Yeah it's we, called chipkli we, we, yeah. we call it something different yeah. There you go Uh I don't I'd rather not say <laughs> What's your what's your take on chipkli I mean I think they exist they, they of have course a right <laughs> They have a right they have, they have a right You won't get cancelled <laughs> Talha Listen they have the a right to live The chipkli organized <laughs> association is not going to come they after They have you. a right to live <laughs> And if they choose to jump in a cake batter, that's their choice. I'm not going to judge them. A life was lost. I'm not going to judge them. Cake to phir ban jata, lekin chip ke liye. We saw this protest the other day. There were a bunch of vegans and they were protesting against the uh, uh, outside of pig slaughterhouse, right? Right. And my cousins, I don't know why, that they just lowered down the windows and they were like, "You can keep the pigs." <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, so so one overlap that vegans and Muslims have is when they're protesting just and outside of yeah. a pig slaughtering factory. Yeah. It's the time when we yeah. are on their side. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you see that video recently, Bilal, of that lady freaking out on a plane? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the video? No, I haven't. This is well, we put a clip here. Uh, it's like uh, this. It's going crazy viral online hmm. of this woman who she's trying to get off of the plane. The plane okay. hasn't taken off yet. Okay. And she sa- she turns around and she says. um i see something what was she saying she like, basically says she looks very distraught yeah and she says a swear word and then she says that guy is not real yeah and then just okay. gets off the plane afterwards okay. yeah and everyone's like and no one has just seen this this particular person so like she was claiming as if she's she'd seen a jinn or a ghost or something well she looked scared enough to think something's going on but everyone's saying she she maybe she was drunk But I have to say she didn't look drunk. She wasn't slurring her words. Yeah. She Maybe was, she, she was, was hallucinating. It is an actual problem. It's yeah, but why? I mean, that's different <laughs> mental health issues. So now they're trying to figure her out ki kaun yeah. tha us flight mein. Putting like random clips ke mm-hmm. acha ye banda tha, the guy in a green hoodie. Mm-hmm. Uski eyes jo thi they were like reptile apparently. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's all these My theories. friend actually told me this a different story of kind of like this. they were at someone's house and she saw someone the whole time that was actually not there cuz at the end of the day she asked the host acha ye kaun tha and he was like kaun kiski baat kar yeah there was nobody of that description or that nobody was there uh did you hear this other story that happened in um british columbia recently no there was this woman she usually takes this trail and is on her horse and she's going down this trail and then she, while she's on the trail and she goes on the trail pretty often while she's on the trail she sees a dead deer right okay and she's like well there's a dead deer and she does photography and stuff i guess so she puts her camera there overnight to see like who actually comes like she thought ki koi bhalu aayega koi is tarah cheeta aayega lion aayega and it'll come and like try and eat the deer mm-hmm. She wanted to capture that. She put the camera there and then went. Mm-hmm. Lo and behold, she comes and grabs the camera, takes the footage, goes home, checks it, and it's not what you think it is. Mm-hmm. 
She sees this. This video is out, by the way. Okay. The, she's put out the footage. How many? It is two naked women eating the deer's meat in the middle of the night. Again, I feel like we're on dangerous <laughs> grounds. Yeah, for it sounds like YouTube a ritual copyright. or something. Maybe a yeah, skull it's, it's of the They're kind. calling them like the witches of I don't know whatever that area is called. And that footage is online. Like you can see the footage. It's on TikTok. So do they stuff. just like? Do they look like this normal? They look pretty scary. Women? No, no, or they look they pretty scary. Describe. They look human, hmm. but they do look pretty scary. It's, it's eerie. Was it a tribal area, maybe? Or no, it's like it's va- it's near Vancouver or something. Okay, it's like next to a mall or something. No, it's <laughs> not next to a <laughs> mall. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> be yeah. more specific here. But what area of BC <laughs> should I avoid going to? Oh, you're going to Vancouver too, right? Yeah, maybe you can visit this spot yeah, with yeah, your little don't camera. Go to this spot. Definitely, <laughs> I don't go to with this spot. With a deer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. So this lady goes by. I mean, it, my question is that the story is a little bit suspicious, mm-hmm. right? Because why would you set up a camera for this dead deer? Like, okay, you're a rich white lady who ha- who's clearly rich enough to hold a horse. I don't know if she was white, though. I'm, okay, fine. Yeah. You're, you're a rich lady <laughs> who has a horse. You have to be rich to be able to have a horse, right? Sure. Okay, you're driving maybe. around in trails, which means that you come across dead wildlife all the time. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah. What makes you suddenly decide, I have my camera on me. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I also have my tripod on a horse. Let yeah. me get off this horse, set up the camera, leave it overnight, not worry someone's going to steal my camera. Come right. back the next day, and you found the most spectacular footage. Yeah, I think if you look at it closely enough, it might be her friends or maybe herself. I mean, it's just it's weird. It's it's a it's weird a coincidence. Weird, yeah, and I I didn't set up the story properly. I do not know enough about why and, uh, the woman was. Doing you convinced me that it's a hoax, but <laughs> <laughs> call the but police. A lot of people have weird hobbies. Yeah, they do, yeah. especially in Canada. Yeah, I think. Pakistan, normal. Kisi ka koi bura hobby nahi. Not that I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you see the differences between Pakistani life and the Canadian life? Um, generally, or like, have you noticed anything particularly different, or some ease in your life here as opposed to like? I think. Like, कुछ बाहर जाओ तो कोई आपको noticeable difference लग रहा है. Apart uh, from garmi or ये वो मोटी मोटी चीज़. I mean, most of the time, better. Better. But like, yeah. वैसे ease of life. Ease of life. Yes, you can say your um, uh, quality of life. I mean, generally, obviously, the quality of life of the average person over here is much better. But you're not average than the <laughs> in Pakistan. I mean, we're very privileged there, of yeah. course. Yeah. But if you compare like your privileged life in Pakistan to like the privileged y- people here, no, or whatever, like your mom's life or whatever. Okay. So, कोई ज़्यादा difference है या एक कोई benefit है Canada में रहने का. I mean, I guess make Bilal feel better about the fact that he's <laughs> yeah. I spent so much money. <laughs> Say something nice about this place. I guess people <laughs> earn more here. They have better jobs here, and uh, earn more. What can I do? If now, if you have a bathroom in your place, true. And you do get taxes. <laughs> the the, the taxes are taxes free. Taxes are crazy. That's true. Yeah. Why should anyone even move to Canada? Basically. Because I, mean, I made a bad choice. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> he's, he's having second thoughts, so he needs you to convince him about this before he moves back. I've, I've traveled to a lot of countries, and I have to say, pretty much every single country I've been to, I've managed to find Pakistanis there. Yeah, yeah. from Morocco to like European countries to Canada, like yeah. the most random place you go to, and there'll be a Pakistani guy there. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. So we're single-handedly repopulating the earth. Yeah, the oh, earth. Yeah. yeah, man, you should just go to like Dundas Square. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On a weekend. So it feels like you're in Pakistan. Yeah, there are some places here that feel like Mississauga. Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't tell the difference apart from like the clean air and stuff. The ki- yeah, I ju- I do, and the clean areas. People don't yeah. litter here. That's that was. Ah really uh, well, that's a debate. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it depends where where you where you're living. Okay. <laughs> the one thing I've heard from people who have, um, should we say, a privileged position in Pakistan and then moved to uh, other countries is yeah. how there's not as much. Help around the house. Sure. You're, you're doing a lot of things yourself, right? Right, that you wouldn't necessarily do in. in Do you have robots and stuff coming? So uh, soon, we? inshallah. We just need <laughs> Elon Musk to get on that mission. I mean, uh, we already have that robot vacuum cleaner or whatever. Yeah, he gets stuff like stuck that. sometimes under yeah. chairs, but that's the one thing I've noticed. Like you know, you're you're doing your own laundry or you're cleaning your yeah. own house or those types of things. Do so you do your own laundry and stuff in Pakistan? Um, no. See, so that's that's the. That's a benefit, but that's what you're missing out on, Bilal. I, d- I, just, I mean, it's not that hard to do it yourself here, honestly. Really? Like here, yeah. Pakistan made stuff. 
I mean, you can get hot. used to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can uh, get used to it, you know. Yeah. You the only fine thing that I find hard here is cooking. Cooking, okay. That's something I enjoy, so. You enjoy cooking? Yeah. Or just make or baking or like making desserts and stuff. No, I think I would enjoy cooking. Are you a good cook? I think so. I believe so, yeah. Let's ask your brother. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Some Something she likes to eat, she makes hey. really nice. Like chai and like pastas and even she she learned how to make some Uh, he's basically saying that she's she can only make good chai and uh, <laughs> cinnamon roll. Actually, roti. we had a chai competition. Me and my fiance. Oh really? Yeah. W- is, did you make a reel about it? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Mm-hmm. Uh, who won? And who was the judge? I mean, he won, but like, but who is judging? The, the my judge? all my friends, all our friends. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, do you think you make better chai than him? I think I do because yeah. he just added a lot of sugar in it, and people generally <laughs> right, like. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a secret sauce, that, right? Yeah, I didn't add sugar. That was the only difference, yeah. I think. Because the chai last night at your place was really nice, yeah. but it was just a little too sugary. That's the way to win hearts and minds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so add more sugar. I have that. learned that. <laughs> By the way, they've come out with a study that says that the thing that they use in diet sodas. Mm. It's, it's carcinogenic. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that is that something to worry about? Like, should I reduce my diet coke? I mean, I haven't reduced my diet coke consumption. Why? Are you okay with the idea of getting cancer? I mean, I think eventually you like, will. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think there's a lot of things to be worried about in life. Um, so, but they when I looked at it, no. But is it a significant drink. thing? Or I think you have to drink like thirteen to fifteen cans of diet Pepsi per day before it becomes uh, uh, something to oh. be worried about. Because I only drink ten. Exactly. Okay. So you're just uh, below that level. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay below thirteen. And you're gonna be fine. No. Uh, so like two cans a day or a can a day is fine. I mean, in theory, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, guys. Know. Tala just said that it's fine, <laughs> so you can keep drinking. No, and well, if okay, something happens you know to you, stop drinking the IPFC <laughs> altogether. Yeah. No, I think the amount that you need is a lot. Um, yeah. But and anything in huge amounts is gonna cause an agenic. Right. Right. So you walk around the street enough. I mean, we were. <laughs> drink you know we were breathing air recently yeah full of smoke with yeah. tons of particles in it it's the equivalent of like smoking a cigarette or something right so it's there but i i think the amount that you have to drink is is a lot right have you had any encounters with like other influencers or celebrities or whatever? actually no sorry about that yeah. That should uh, lessen the. <laughs> whenever I do an Instagram live session, this they're like, "Why is the police always after you, Bilal?" I'm like, "Kya ho raha? Aapko police kyu pakadi hai?" Is that natural Pakistani instinct where you just have guilt out of nowhere? You hear police telling yeah. you, like, "I'm sure it's for me. What have I done wrong?" <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off there. No, no. Uh, what were you we talking about? Um, tea, right? Yeah, tea. Uh, so no, like ha- no um, experience with like celebrities or other influence. I mean, not yet. I haven't really. What's your future plans with your uh, Instagram channel? I mean, I was thinking of starting photography. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you ever do like YouTube? Like a part time. S- people are telling me to do YouTube and start vlogging for some yeah. reason. Like, I think they really enjoy the whole aesthetic. Vibe. Aesthetic and you know my friends and everything. So maybe let's see. But right now it's. Are you a very social person? Um, I believe so. Because you've brought your friends up. a few times yeah. so it feels like you're a very social person i mean with them acha whether you reserve time i think so i don't know <laughs> yeah um to aapki jo um abhi mangni hui thi wo islamabad mein hui thi islamabad mein was it like a big event like did a lot of people show up i mean we we try to not in, we try not to invite too many people yeah but it's a big family cuz we couldn't find like any photos or videos of your event i did put them up okay. for a while right. but then i removed them ah okay yeah yeah cuz we weren't sure like yeah no cuz a lot of my new followers don't actually know this acha we're yeah. breaking news guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just tuned in yeah <laughs> what what made you what made you remove them um nazar i guess ah. nazar do you believe in it i do kabhi lagi i guess yeah acha <laughs> yeah. um has there uh, like 
are you pretty satisfied with the way your life is going or do you think they could have been you could have done more in your life i like how she came for light-hearted podcast uh, and no, now and now this is lights <laughs> out is asking, uh-huh. you know how's your life going are you are you happy with your life or not yeah. It's no, I question. think it's always better to live in the present. No. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy. Do you not worry about the future? Um, not really. Acha, that's a skill. I wish I had I that. That's <laughs> an advantage of youth, my friend. You that's know. what it is. <laughs> I <laughs> think <laughs> so. <laughs> I think so, yeah. And yeah. I feel like it's always better to live in the moment and enjoy that. Roha, I trust mean. me, once you're as old as I am, <laughs> it'll be hard Maybe. to do that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. Let's see. There are yeah, some no. very happy go lucky people you meet too. No? Are you happy go lucky people? I think so. I'm very easy going. I think so. Right. Yeah. No, it must be like I'm imagining like if I was doing a trip to Canada with my family mm. that had come from Pakistan, mm. I would be having a blast. Yeah. Um, kind of cuz I've traveled so much, mm. but I've always traveled alone. Alone. Okay. Completely alone. So I do miss my, like my friends and family whenever I'm traveling. Mm. But have having the ability to travel with your family is incredible. Have you been to Niagara Falls? Yeah, we went yesterday actually. Good. Was it crowded? Right passage. Hmm? Crowded? No, it wasn't actually. Acha Niagara Falls pe ek wo hai haunted house type wo kya? Nahi, hum bas ferry pe gaye the. Yahan pe haunted house mein aapko touch bhi kar sakte hain. Acha? Ha, to wo bada hi scary hota hai. We'll have to go to that then. Is yeah, there, me and my friends went. Is there in the downtown? Nahi, it downtown mein pata nahi hai ki nahi lekin Niagara pe tha. Okay. We went to that. I had friends like these 6 foot 2 guys, huge. that seem like these mean tough guys mm. and they take photos of you while they scare you which you can yeah. see later and man that guy was like a little like a little boy mm. inside that haunted house <laughs> it's just crazy funny you put anyone into a scary situation <laughs> like that i don't even want to imagine what my photograph would look like no it is pretty scary like i i i have to admit it was really scary um do you, have you been to wonderland yeah did you go Yeah, really? we did go and uh, and pictures of Mujhe hi aada hai jo unhone roller coaster pe mari pictures mm-hmm. thi na. We didn't even get them. They were so roller coaster hai pata nahi Yukon something. Yeah, Leviathan, I think. Ah, with it goes like 90 degrees or something. Oh, that, I think that is Yukon maybe. Maybe. But we went on the Leviathan. Is that a really scary one? It is. Was this your first time sitting on a roller coaster? Yeah. What did it feel like? Oh, well in Pakistan you have you do have roller coasters but itni Come on, so so Ali roller coaster. Thing. But the way no, they, yeah, the fear level is higher. The fear, the fear level is definitely yeah. higher. I gotta yeah, tell you, yeah, I, I, I've been absolutely. on some rides in Pakistan when I was younger, and I was way more scared to yeah. go on those than I was yeah. on a roller coaster here because there's real danger there. You know, yeah. there's a real risk. <laughs> Though I've seen a lot of videos from Wonderland recently. Hey, actually, you know what? That's we were true. in the waiting line. We waited for one hour, and we yeah. the ride kind of broke down. Damn. And they were playing it again and again without. people in it and that kind of dead scare us catch up with any which one was it leviathan really yeah oh man so with teen char baar unhone khali chalai thi test karne ke liye acha so but we still went on it <laughs> mm. the the most insane part was there was no seat belt or anything on your shoulders they just How lock you? your thighs that's it really? i don't know yeah well, my i'm sure this pretty safe i mean the laws of physics then help you but that's about it yeah Because I've never heard of like Wonderland where someone went out of that ride and went out. No, but yeah, obviously, I mean, there's always a first time. But that adds huh? to the fear. It's always the first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love roller coasters myself, to be honest. Yeah. I, I but you, uh, you brought up an interesting point. I went to uh, Wonderland once with Talha mm. um, and his wife and the kids. Mm. And Talha said that he's so used to the rides now. He doesn't feel the same adrenaline, adrenaline rush. rush. Yeah, that's what you're always racing for, right? Is that yeah. is that adrenaline rush? Yeah. Um. So the first time you go on it, it's amazing. Second then time, less. Then it gets less. I mind. mean, I am still just as scared. You're still there. <laughs> 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 Your response is still there. <laughs> <laughs> like you, that's good. My palms get sweaty. Like I, I do not want to be there. But then once it ends, it's like the best feeling in the, the world. The best thing, yeah. There's two different people like that, right? There's some people who are always chasing that rush, and that high. and because their threshold keeps changing, they look for risky and riskier activities. Right. And there's some people who will get that rush every single time, and they don't feel the need to keep chasing that right. adrenaline high. Right, right. Um. So you're you're lucky. In that sense. Yeah. So what are your plans for the rest of your time here in Canada? Uh, so we're gonna go to Calgary, Vancouver, and Alberta. Acha. Yeah, we'll have to travel. Banff, Jare. I think so. Yeah, I haven't read the 
whole plan but these oh there's like a written plan yeah they've jotted down all the main who points. made this my mom yeah he planned oh it. your mom is going with you yeah like, okay he lives here so he's planned everything right he's lived in cool yeah uh no i've been to banff it's beautiful absolutely yeah. beautiful and right now is the time to go it's supposed to be nice in winters too but apparently there's a train ride that go quick char din ki train ride uh-huh, uh-huh. Can, 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 can in uh-huh canadian yeah. canadian i guess from from vancouver like from bc to alberta yeah. right yeah. like the rocky mountains yeah yeah so that's yeah. like uh the business class one or the special one is like five thousand dollars okay for a single ticket okay or maybe more okay. by the way talha knows like some of the best spots in toronto uh, for like food and stuff I I don't know about the best spots. He loves os- osmosis, can I? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember uh, which podcast that we recorded that and if that story was here or before. I don't remember But, either. Uh, so joke it out like I asked Roha uh which places have you been to and she said osmosis. <laughs> Osmos. <laughs> And it's frankly not the best shawarma. Which for people who don't live in Toronto is basically like a very simple shawarma place. So it's like a chain. It's a chain. It's a t- yeah, it's like a takeout yeah. chain. Yeah. So we joked that her cousins are basically trying to cheap out on her. But now we find out she's taking the train from BC to Alberta. So maybe they're not. We don't know. <laughs> My cousins are going to watch this. Though. Yeah, they are going to watch this. They're going to know we told on them. Um, mm-hmm. No, cold brew coffee is amazing. They basically just put coffee beans overnight in water. So... It's not it's not very harsh. It's a very smooth taste, mm. but it has the highest caffeine content that you can possibly get in coffee. So okay. if you're not used to coffee, it it'll give you palpitations. I think yeah. I'll probably have a lot of coffee in my house job cuz Oh, uh, yes. You need to be on your toes and everything. Mm-hmm. So let's see. I might switch to coffee from tea for a while actually. Yeah, after this Canadian trip, I think you will. <laughs> Dev- yeah. Cuz the tea is not good here. It they is not. They don't make karak chai like they do in Pakistan. Yeah, unless you go to Talha's house. Because really? Tala's wife makes really good tea. Okay. She does. I'm and just saying uh, that because she's doing our sound and I don't want her to stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she's No, Patan. she genuinely makes really <laughs> good tea. She's Patan and they all yeah, she makes really like food and drink and everything. Yep. So. Proper unka style, wo yeah. uske, uske, jis mein aapne kittens daali te na, uske mein wo chai hai. We're getting more and more really interesting kind of desi snacks and chai places in the GTA though, right? It's a, it's a growing, it's a growing market here. Like that Gerard place that we went to. Gerard place is one. There's like, there's a, there's a UK um, chain that's come over here called Chaiwala. Yeah. Mm. They're, they're pretty big. Um, and there's a couple of other places. But yeah, you, you can find a good cup of chai out there. Again, I, I love my coffee, so yeah, I don't look out for it. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, I hope you have a fantastic time in Canada. Yeah. And I hope you get to eat stuff other than Osmos. Yeah, other than what my cousins are doing to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and try something else other than Tim Hortons as well. Okay. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. But thank you so much for coming. Thank you uh, for having me. <laughs> absolutely. And thank you, Tala. You're welcome. It was always, uh, a, always an interesting conversation with you. Uh, but thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.